familiar to call you Beelzebub, or you prefer a bad man, or as the Hindus called you, Shaitan, or as you were known to answer to Araman, Belial, Apollyon, Asmodeus. You see, see, I do know you. That's your woman. The other is your band, your groupies. What of them? Never here, bub. Merely shadows I created to entertain your little friends. Juicy little souls to bring you out into the open. Just characters I drew from horror movies. Yes, that's where I saw that nerdy bass player before. Yes, and the one with the guy with the hockey mask. I've been here all alone. Can't you see that now? I knew if I pissed you off long enough, you'd make a personal appearance. I am in the intercessor. And have actually ever listened to the band Thor. I mean, I'm a metal fan from way back. I'm unapologetic as far as metal goes. I know you don't care for he the metal is, so yeah, much, it's but really bad. it is. He's prog rock guy. You know, he's his favorites like Phil Collins era Genesis. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. no attacking the host on the show. I'm sorry. But if you've ever, I mean, Thor is like the cheesiest of the cheese. It's like a cheesier, like, you know, man, man of war, which if you can believe that. So you got the guy who can bend steel bars and blow up like rubber balloons and like have them explode, you know, like hot, hot water bottles and stuff like that. The dude's a, a piece of work. And this is, this movie he actually wrote the whole bit. And it's so cheesy. Alex is like, man, we got to watch a really bad movie. And since I had already done Boarding House on the show, much to your disappointment. Because yes. I know you're like... You want to see Boarding House to no end, so we're going to have to do that yeah, as a double we're feature gonna, one we're night. We're going to watch that one of these nights. We're going to have to. But I'm, he's like, let's watch something really bad. So I'm like, you know what? I've never done Rock and Roll Nightmare on the show. It came out on DVD. we got to watch this one. And man, is it horrible. It is like it Rock and Roll Nightmare indeed. Really bad <laughs> hair metal. I mean, the songs in this thing. I can't. We were going to do a duet, yeah. but uh, we decided against it because we want people to actually tune back into the show. So we yeah. decided against that. But basic story. Thor goes with this band out to Canada to, to record their album in this barn, and they all get start taken over by what? What the hell were those monsters even? I don't, I don't even know what they. I mean, they're like these like, little. They kind of look like little penises. They did. Like, they totally. And they totally spooged in the guy's coffee. They, or I whatever forgot about he was that. I forgot about that. He definitely has a little dribble in there. Yep. <laughs> this monster freaking pukes green spunk into a guy's coffee. He drinks it. He gets possessed. There's a lot of nudity, which is a good thing. I'm always for that, except for like when the chicks are like, what? I, I, oh, your buddy that was yeah. over, he's like, 
It looks like the after, the after. Life or meth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but life or meth ads. <laughs> yep, exactly. Like before meth, after meth, and that's what they looked like, and it was no good. But the the best is the twist at the end. I'm not going to get into it, except for the fact that you get to see the appearance of the intercessor, complete with cape and metal cod piece and the bullet belt and the whole bit and no shirt and Thor's like a like a bodybuilder dude so he's like pretty built except he's got this really bad hair I know you guys like to rip on me for the fact that I have no hair and that's part of the reason I got yeah. Alex so there'll be some hair on the <laughs> show right, tonight I got, I got so, it right here yeah he's got a head of hair you know I don't but this guy's hair I swear to god my favorite was the the review I read that said man that is one ugly chick and they were talking about John Michael Thor <laughs> so right there you know that it's just horrible, and I, I have to apologize for making you guys sit through this one. Because oh, no, it was fun. I always have fun watching bad movies. That's what we do. Yeah, but there's fun, and then there's, like, somebody just kicked me in the nuts. You know what I mean? And that's more of what yeah, this movie Yeah, some of the like. scenes were, like, way filler. Like, that driving <laughs> down the road with the van for, like, a minute and a half. It's like, what is this shot? <laughs> well, they got to play the entire Thor song. That's the important oh, thought. Uh, that's the that important part. Yeah, exactly. You got to okay. play the song. You got to have it on the radio. So if you like your movies really bad and you haven't seen this, you got to check out Rock and Roll Nightmare. It truly lives up to its name. And there's a sequel, which I didn't even know about, so I'm going to do that on a future show. But for now, go check this out. Bad 80s music, bad 80s puppets. Everything, everything that's wrong with movies is encapsulated in this one DVD. It's brilliant.